Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about how I got into Soul Plan and how it's changed my life. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about then I'd invite you to pop back and watch my previous videos including what is Soul Plan so that you can catch up and follow where we are. But if you've already seen those then let's get started. <music> I've mentioned a few times how Soul Plan changed my life, so I wanted to share my story with you to hopefully inspire you to take the same action if you feel like you need something to change in your life. I'll start at the beginning. When I was in college, I took an A-level called World Development, and that completely opened my eyes to the world around me, and I decided I wanted to become an aid worker. I knew I wanted to help people, and I felt this was the best way to do it. And learning about poverty and inequality just opened my mind to how we really need to help each other and come together as a community in the world. I then went to UEA in Norwich and studied a BA in international development with a view to becoming an aid worker, hopefully specialising in humanitarian aid for disaster relief. And then when I finished my degree, I left and I started applying to loads of different charities for volunteer positions as well as paid positions, hoping to gain as much experience as I could and eventually go over and help people all across the world. However, unfortunately that wasn't meant to be and I didn't know that at the time, but the universe blocked everything I applied for and I just either didn't hear back from people or they were full and they didn't need any more volunteers and they'd kind of got everything they needed going. And at the time, because I didn't know things were being blocked because it wasn't my purpose, I felt really disheartened and I actually felt like a failure. I felt like I'd spent three years studying and two years at college studying only to come out the other side and actually completely fail in my endeavours. And in around 2012 I went through quite a strong bout of depression and had some time out from work and during this time I sought out some counselling and some healing. I'd never been for any healing before but I found that when I was in that space I felt so safe that I could be myself and it was within that stillness that I started to wake up and have my spiritual awakening. When I would lie on the healer's couch, I would have crystals all over me and he'd have some music playing in the background and I'd close my eyes and I would just receive so many visions when what I now know to be downloads, but at the time I didn't know that. I was just enjoying what I was seeing and experiencing. And it was almost as if someone had switched the light back on. When I was about six, seven years old, I used to receive quite a few clairvoyant messages. And at the time I didn't understand what they were and it scared me a lot. I would see things almost like a film was playing in my mind and I couldn't see anything else apart from that. And it really scared me. So when I was seven, I stood up one day and I said, stop, I can't take this anymore. I don't know what it is and I don't like it. It's scaring me, stop. And I actually have never had those ever again. But what I have had is different forms of visions, different types of intuition since seeing this healer. My mind almost just reopened to the universe and I realised that this space was somewhere I felt safe and I felt connected and I felt I could truly be myself and I'd never felt that before. And I decided in that moment that if I could recreate that for at least one other person, then I'd have done my job. I'd have served and I'd have done what I wanted to do. I'd have been able to help people. So I kind of went on a mission to find a course that was right for me and I applied to so many places. I looked into anatomy and physiology, aromatherapy, Reiki, yoga teacher training because at the time I was doing a lot of yoga as I really found that to help my anxiety and to calm me quite a lot with panic attacks I'd been having. But I never heard back from anybody. I even looked into a crystal healing course, you name it, and I looked into it. And for some reason, I just either didn't hear back from them or they were full. It was very bizarre. But I knew at this point things were being blocked and I was being guided to the right path. Then one day when I was at work, somebody really upset me with something unpleasant they said to me. And I was in bed one night crying and I thought, do you know what? No more. I'm not having this anymore. And so I searched spiritual life coaching courses. And the second link that came up was to the Holistic Healing College. And I'm quite a face-to-face -face person. I'm quite visual. I'm a Libran. So I decided to go for that over any kind of online course. And I applied. And the first module happened to be Soul Plan. And I can remember thinking, I've never heard of that before. And I clicked on the Soul Plan website and I scrolled down and I had a quick flick through, but I didn't really take any of it on board because I don't think I was meant to. I think I was meant to wait until the main event to be wowed by Soul Plan. And so I even said to my mom, have you heard of Soul Plan? She said, no, I haven't. So 
I had no idea what to expect. I went with a completely open mind and I hadn't really enjoyed school whilst I did enjoy learning. So when I went, I expected it to be a bit like school, sitting at a classroom, in a classroom, sitting at desks, looking at the teacher who was writing things on a whiteboard and I could not have been more wrong. It was such a beautiful space where we trained and it was a really safe container created by the teacher and all of the other students were amazing. And I, but I went in with quite um, a nervous, shy energy because I am quite actually quite a bit of an introvert. And um, when I arrived, I sat down and I kind of slunk back in my chair and didn't speak to anybody. And then when the teacher started talking, I was kind of doodling and just not really paying much attention. And then Blue, who was teaching, said, this is a system designed to help you find your life purpose. And I genuinely sat upright in my chair and I thought, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for my whole life. I've always wanted to help people and I've always wanted to do something meaningful, but I have no idea what my talents are. I've tried so many different areas and I don't seem to be kind of succeeding in them. This might give me the answers. And so I feverishly wrote down everything that Blue explained about Soul Plan and just soaked it up like a sponge and it was honestly the most amazing weekend of my life and I still even now when I think about it it was just so exciting and then I after that I then went on to complete the spiritual life coaching course over the period of about a year and this was October 2015 that I trained in Soul Plan and then in January 2016 I went on to train in the Advanced Soul Plan, the Overlay Soul Plan, which I've previously mentioned is to do with any name changes, but it also looks at businesses and a few other things. And I loved that, I lapped it up, I soaked it up, I really enjoyed learning about it. And then I trained in Soul Transformation, which is another branch of Soul Plan, using Soul Plan Tarot cards. And I also took the further advanced Soul Transformation course. So I just soaked up anything I could find to do with Soul Plan. But I felt like what Soul Plan gave me was not just clarity, but masses of inner peace. I had been so jittery and fizzy and just all over the place, really scattered because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just kept walking around really listless and purposeless. And I'm one of those people, if I don't have a purpose, I can feel quite low. And so when I heard what my, my soul plan was, when I heard what my talents were and what my goals were, I just kept thinking, yes, yes, this is me. This is what I want to do. This is definitely right. And I just couldn't get enough of that. I couldn't get enough of that energy and that excitement. And I researched soul plan like nobody's business and I gave as many readings as I could. And eventually last year, I finished my training as a soul plan teacher. And I absolutely love teaching soul plan. It brings me so much joy to share what changed my life with other people. Now, how did soul plan change my life? Well, it brought me that inner peace. As I say, I'd been searching for so long as to what my purpose was and who I was. I honestly just felt like somebody had given me the most simple format of answers for that question. So if you're like me and you've spent time thinking, I don't know who I am, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what my purpose is, then Soul Plan is definitely for you. I cannot recommend it enough. It will just bring you so much peace. And it also brings clarity because it is such a well-structured layout with that star of creation. You can break things down into your challenges, into your talents, into your goals. And it really helps you kind of bring forth what you need to share, but also take those challenges and turn them into strengths. And I'm not saying that's an overnight process, but that's definitely something you can do. Just being aware of your soul plan can change your life. Just being aware of the energies that you have within you and that you are sharing with the world can really change your life. And so it brought me this clarity. I suddenly understood myself. I understood why I'd been through so many difficult times. And Soul Plan showed me how I could turn those difficult times into meaningful times, how I could learn from them and utilize them to share the message of what I learned from them with other people who may be about to go through the same thing or had been through the same thing and were struggling to find the wood for the trees. It also gave me clarity with my goals. I finally understood myself at a level where I knew what I wanted to do and I could structure it to work towards completing that, to actually accessing those goals and fulfilling them. And then in terms of my soul destiny, that brought me the biggest amount of clarity and understanding of who I am and how other people perceive me and where my place in the world is. So if any of this sounds like something that you've been looking for an answer to, or that could help you or just give you that clarity or that boost that you need, that encouragement, that empowerment that you need to take the next step, then Soul Plan is definitely for you. Now, as I previously have mentioned, I am now a Soul Plan teacher and I do actually have my next Soul Plan course coming up in November, the 22nd, 23rd and 24th of November. So if you're already a coach or a therapist or a counsellor 
or you already have a business and you're ready to take it to that next level and add an amazing tool to your kit, then I definitely recommend Soul Plan and you may wish to get in touch with me. So I will leave my email address in the description box below. But if you are somebody who just doesn't know what you want or where you want to go, then that is when a Soul Plan reading is definitely going to be for you. And if that sounds like you, then please do get in touch with me or do click the link to the main Soul Plan website, which I will again put in the description box if you wish to find a practitioner closer to you, if you live quite far away. I've got a friend in New Zealand, so that's quite helpful for her. So I hope this video has been interesting for you and I hope it's kind of explained why Soul Plan is so amazing and how it changed my life and how it just brought me so much clarity and so much peace. And I'm somebody who loves peace and calmness. So for me, that was the best thing in the world. And it gave me a purpose. It gave me a goal to work towards. And it turns out this goal is this channel for now and teaching for now, but I know that it's going to go further than that. So I hope you can join me for this journey. So over the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about the polarities and we're going to be going through each of the soul plan energies. So I hope you can join me for that. So if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it, putting a comment below and don't forget to subscribe because then you can catch up with all of the polarity and energy videos, which are going to be coming up soon. Thank you for watching.